Welcome back to the Power Talk Show with me, Dominic George. Yeah, awesome. So we are back. And I want you to keep the sending uh, the, the, the conversation, keep the conversation going. And as you can see on the screen there, we've got Mackenzie Winder, tuned from Sierra County. Thank you, Mackenzie, for watching. And then we have Mato Tosh. The discussion is good. You are awesome talk. Or I think it's an awesome talk. That's what you mean. Actually, today is boy child Amea Chiliwa, and he is like hanging between jaws of a wild monster. Thanks a lot, James Auma. So you are tuned in. Um, uh, Matotosh, you are tuned in from Embu County. Thank you so much. So please keep uh, the conversation going. Go to our social media places, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, and comment there on the conversation we are having here. You can congratulate James uh, with his organization, Life Song, for the work that they are doing. And also you can uh, st comment there with your suggestions, your opinion, or say a question, and we'll be part of, the, of, of this conversation. So now we are back with, uh, I'm back here with two young men who are part of Life Song. And so we've got Wei Long, right? Yeah, yeah. And we've got the prophet, Elisha. Yes. Is it Elisha or Elisha? Elisha Mateka. Elisha. Yes. So it's English, huh? Mm -hmm. Not Kikuyu. Elisha. Not Kikuyu, no. Elisha, okay. <laughs> that is Elisha. Huh? Yeah. Weilong. Yeah. That's an interesting name. Thank you. Yeah, that's a really a good name. So it is Weilong Bulimu. Yes. Uh, and Elisha Mateka Papa. Yes. Uh, yes. Now, uh, I'm going to start with you, Weilong. Okay. You have been in remand. Yes. Waiting for to be sentenced. Yeah. And uh, you have also been, you have served a sentence. Yes. Okay. Tell us a bit about what happens. What, what, what made you get arrested? Okay. First of all, mm -hmm. I was, I was still, in, I was still in school before I got arrested. Which, which uh, class were you? I was in primary. Class? Eight. Class eight. Yes. Uh -huh. Before I got arrested. So I, I had, a, I had friends at home whom we were, we were just mocking around uh, the streets, you mm -hmm. know. Yes, they were my best friends, but uh, I decided to drop off, off school because of them, because they was, we were too close with them. So peer pressure? Yeah, peer pressure, mm. I can say that. Okay. So uh, bef I dropped to school, I started smoking marijuana for a bit, like three months. Yes, so I was arrested by the police officers in the in the house which we were living. So you were arrested for smoking marijuana? Yeah. Okay. We, uh, so we were arrested, we were six, we were arrested in the house. Mm -hmm. After being arrested, we were taken to the chief's post. After there, we were taken to the police station. We stayed there for like one week before we were taken to court. So uh, we were taken, before we were taken to court in the in the police station, we were six, but three were released. Yeah, three were released, so we remained three. Me, and my friend. And so the were they were they released? Were you? Did you remain because you could not yes, pay something could not to get out? Afford, you know? Yes, that bribe. Okay. So we d we remained because our parents were unable not to able. pay that. Yes. Okay. Where is your home, by the way? I'm um, from Kawangware. Kawangware, okay. Yes, but I'm I'm a lawyer from Western. Mm-hmm. All right. So we stayed for a week in the police station. Then we were taken to court. So after taken to court, then the there was some uh, files which we, we were missing. There are some files which we were missing for for we to continue the case. So we were the the judge ordered we to be taken back to the police station. We we again stayed there for three days before the files were arranged. Then we were taken to back to the court, the juvenile court. Where? In Milimani. Milimani. Yes. But one of my friends was old. Yes, was above eighteen, so he was taken to in Australia. Wow. And me and my friend, we were taken to juvenile remand in mm -hmm. committee, mm -hmm. YCTC. So I stayed, I stayed with my friend at committee, YCTC, for a period of six months. You are waiting for a period of six months? Yes. To be sentenced to a maximum period of four months? Yes. So before... Wait, I mean, like you waited to be sentenced yes. for a longer period than yes. actually your sentence? Yes. So for those Six uh -huh. months we stayed with my friend, uh -huh. but he was he was released on a bond of twenty thousand. 
So me, I stayed there. Again, again because your parents could not be yes, able to raise. Okay. For seven, for again, for one month. Then I was sentenced in YCTC for four months. So I stayed in YCTC. Then I was released on November last year at six. Mm -hmm. Then I joined a center where... Okay, wait, wait. So wait, wait, let's pause a bit there. Yeah. So you actually waited for seven months, not yes, six. Yes, not six. Se so seven six months. Six we were with my friend. Then he got released on bond. Yes. And then you remained on for another month. Yeah. So seven months you're waiting for your sentencing. Yeah, four months. Or four months. Yes. Wow. <laughs> what, how, how, was, how was your experience at the Riman? Wow. <laughs> that, that's a good summary. I like that. I like wow. That's a good, <laughs> like, uh, and it's then, good. Uh, so then after you got sentenced, where were you, were you taken? I was taken to another, I jumped, uh, we call it jump to another level because mm -hmm. it's a uh, remand here and a prison of YCTC. It's a different, it has been separated mm -hmm. with a wall. So I jumped to the other wall. <laughs> and life is more difficult there yeah, now, I no, guess. No, there, uh, uh. it's a bit good because there's okay. an F. Wait long, wait. You are saying life is better after being sentenced? No, yes, after being sentenced. Life yes. gets better? Yes, more than remand. Okay, yeah. all right. So wha were you guilty? Yes, I was guilty. You were guilty? Yeah. Okay. Now, I... So you, 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 you now spent seven months in the remand waiting to be sentenced, then four months, huh? Yes. So now you get out. Yeah, I got uh, out. A whole year has gone by. It has been wasted, yes. right? How, and so you now the Life Song comes in, uh, James comes in with his organization to assist you. Yeah. Could you tell us what happened, how, how that happened? I met, James when I met James when I was in YCTC. Before I was in remand, I met James. He has been my mentor all that all those months. We have journeyed th with him. So when I was released, I was in a center. He communicated with the with the with the uh, coordinator of in the center. Then he came talk to me. We discussed about a bit about my life and what I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. And he he volunteered to help me. So awesome. that's how we have been. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's really good. Please give a clap to Waylong. You. Your name is Waylong and your way has been long. Yeah, yeah? very long. And, but I'm sure you're going to get there. You're going <laughs> to yeah. get there. And Prophet, coming back to you. Yes, I mean, sir. that's amazing, isn't it? Of mm -hmm. your friend right here. Yes, it yes. is. It's, it's brilliant, isn't it? I mean, a lot of courage. And then on your side, for you have not been uh, in prison. No, I've never been. Thank there. God. Yeah, I really thank God for that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But your story is also a story of... Uh, uh, okay, tell us, tell us ab about yourself. Um, my name is Elisha Mateka Papa. Mm. That's my real official names. Mm. Yeah. What was Zania di Papa ni Michezo? No, I'm, uh, I'm proud to be a Kenyan, yeah? Okay, um, that's good. Being in Life Song, yeah, I met James in uh, late November in 2016. By then I was in, uh, I had just f complete, uh, finished my final examinations from uh, high school in... Uh, uh, Bungoma mm -hmm. called Namuela High School. So yeah. you finished from for that time? Yes, okay. yes. Mm. So after finishing high school, um, I just uh, came back home. I did not perform that well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I, the, what, I, what I scored, I, don't, I can't say I'm an average person right now because I have a, a very huge potential in me that I came to realize after school. Uh, meeting James uh, is uh, actually, to me, I really thank God for using him, yeah, because the way he just, uh, after, okay, he was staying in uh, Ngong, he shifted to Ngong Rescos, so that's where we, we stay, it's called Kikui Close. Mm -hmm. I'm very social uh, to friends, so him, after, it was just about a week, and since uh, I had been brought up well with my mother, like I know how to cook, I know how to mop. James met me while You're I was good mopping. Man. You're a good yeah? Man. Uh -huh. yeah. I he was just greeting me and to me I was like, aha, he's a new friend and I'm so happy to mm. meet this man, yeah. He's got his own family. For me, you see, if you've been brought up well with your parents, there are those values that are instilled in you. Mm. Yeah. You don't have to go to school and then uh, you may be taught something but still get off. Mm. 
But to me, I really thank God for James mm -hmm. still. Because after finishing high school, many of the young men, mm -hmm. many of the young men are really left out. Not because parents or like our fathers, there are some of those who assume, like their sons, yeah, they know the responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But in truth to say, we also need mentors to help you to work to help us also so in your yeah. experience first of all in your experience do you have a dad who is active in your life yes i have him. you have a dad I who's active him, yeah. and uh during this time after you finished form four wh 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 how were you looking forward to joining the university or were you somewhere stuck between finances and your performance or what where did just i mean uh, james find you and you are like this i i needed him at this point to be able to like help me move on at first, um, I it was my second holiday mm -hmm. after April. Now going to December holiday. My I mean the first one, yeah, after high school. Mm -hmm. uh, James had just shifted from where he was staying, yeah, and uh, when after meeting James, that is, I sort of got to interact with him slow by slow, and then from there, I saw him like going for the runs in the morning. For me, I used to yeah, run in the morning while I was still in school. I used mm -hmm. to play football. But after coming back home, mm -hmm. after seeing this man, like he was going to run, going to cycle. By then, he wasn't having the full kids. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in fact, even me, I never even thought one day I'll come and put With on the this kids. way. Yes. Yeah. This is just a sample. Tell people you cycle to the show. Yeah, I, <laughs> I really cycle, yeah. So um, mm. for myself to have that dad, uh -huh. It's, um, I can say, for our responsibilities mm -hmm. to our fathers mm. are very great. Mm. Uh, for that person, um, not just like, yeah, for me, mm -hmm. someone who doesn't have the father figure, mm -hmm. you know, it's really tough. Sure. Like some of the things uh, that you might be asked to leave the wrong direction mm. and follow the right path. Without a father figure, it's really mm. hard to get into peer mm. influence. Yeah. And from there, you get to like mix up your mind. Mm. Mm. Don't get to move the, the best or good direction. Okay. Yes. Now, some, some, time, some time back, you, you lost your mom. All right? Yes, I did. And uh, how, how, how was it uh, being able to go through that, that loss and grief? And uh, especially, uh, how how did life song as an organization help you to not to you know when sometimes when you lose someone who is close you can get depressed and go into many other issues how did it help you uh, for me um after my mom it just passed it is not a human being's will for his or her loved one to pass for me my mom it was i don't know it's just god because when my mom was sta uh, starting to be sick, started to be sick, I never came to understand that my mom was maybe going to pass after I just completed high school. And I want to tell you for free that there's a there's a for free, not charging, no okay. charges, no charges. <laughs> there is a dream. Please don't tell me so far what you have said. You're gonna charge me. I'm not charging you oh, anything. Okay, well, thank, you. <laughs> thank God. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, there's this dream that came into my mind. One day that uh, when I was uh, washing the utensils, we had taken a bit of uh, like uh, eight, seven years. That is after my dad got a job that is a bit serious, yeah. Like he can earn something and take his children to school. Mm. From two thousand and eight to twenty sixteen, going to twenty seventeen, I, what really happened? For my mom to come to pass, I just had like I don't know if it was a Holy Spirit, yeah, yeah, coming to consume me. I don't know, but this is how the dream came to me. There's a time I just as I was watching the utensils, kept asking myself like, um, after some this long, huh, we've not been back to the society where our roots are, mm. and. I just thought, uh, asked myself, like, um, we are here, yes, but one day maybe we might go back home while we are in casket, and just, it was like a flash, 
yeah and yeah yeah mm. thought of that casket and after after some two months my mom was ailing from meningitis and i was not even like really going to yeah get that motion and hold it like my mom would maybe one time get sick and just pass that way mm, mm. to me it was a flash and mm. i had thought it was one of the dream that you had had yes okay, okay. I, it's mm. like a vision of i was shown and, uh, yeah yeah okay, okay. Uh, and and now he now you are here now and uh uh, you've been able to go through this process and find strength especially being with life song yes and now you you are one of those who are preparing to cycle from nairobi to kisumu yes i am yes i am and you're very ready to do that i'm very ready yeah as we as we as we finish up what uh, say something about uh, about about this uh, life song and about this race and what you're looking forward to to it being for you um what i'm going to really support with mm -hmm. for life song mm -hmm. is my energy that god has uh, give gave me and i still have it mm. i'm really i'm not that not that i'm volunteering mm. for me i'm going to do it you're gonna do like it. i cycle if it gets tired mm -hmm. i'll still cycle yeah because working with a mentor yeah it's very great and to me what i really appreciate is he has helped me i never used to be a cyclist and after just around uh, seven to eight months mm -hmm. right now i can tell you i'm a professional duathlete i do uh Cycling. Edge group cycling. Uh -huh. So I do both running and cycling. Exactly. True. And you're looking forward to going to France sometime for for the for some race? Yeah, uh, there's an event in um, April, uh -huh. which will be in Spain. Spain, uh, Spain. Yes, uh -huh. I qualified for the uh, edge group. And you're looking forward to going? Yes. Give uh, give this gentleman a clap. Now. So thank you so much. Thank, huh? you, thank you, thank you so much. You're very energetic when you speak. I like it. Thank uh, you so like much. yes, so yes, much. I am happy to be cycling. <laughs> that is brilliant. Thank well, you. yeah. Thank you so much also for sharing your story. Welcome. And uh, Paul Asana, that you spent seven months waiting for a prison sentence of four months. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's long. But I like your. You have a strong spirit, both of you, and uh, you are those the kind of young men that's you know giving hope to the young men who are watching yes. and telling them that everybody has a hope and a future. And uh, yeah. thank you for sharing your story with us. Yeah. Well, so please give them a, give them a clap. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna take a break uh, right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my dear viewers, and I hope that you are uh, commenting and giving your suggestions and opinions. I can see those comments on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, Y254, comment and uh, let us know what you think about our conversation today. So we're going to take a short break right now and we'll be right back with the last segment of the Part Talk Show.